Okay, so you come with curls, I have the clippers. You don't want the curls, I cut the curls. Now, you cut the curls because you want waves. Come back months later, don't have waves. What do we do next? That's what we're gonna cover. This is Josiah, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and grab our clippers, boys and girls, and I'm using the seniors. Now, the reason I'm going ahead and chopping these curls up this way is because I'm, I was probably trying to get a thumbnail. I'm not even gonna lie, because normally when it comes to a situation like this, you pretty much could just go for the guard, but I chose to uh, go ahead and show Josiah a different side of him and then grab the number three guard, and I just ran it through, boys and girls. We're just running it through. Now, there was a part of me that thought maybe I should go with a higher guard, but because he's never had waves, from what I remember, this was about a year ago. And uh, he more than likely just didn't have any type of pattern under there. So I did that with a number three, and then I come back with a number two because it didn't seem like it was the right length to do what I wanted to do. But, you know, I did run the number two completely off, and this is Josiah not understanding what just happened. Now, I know there's some of you that are thinking, Fonz, you should have cut it a little bit lower. I would have scalped him down to a one. Cool, I get that, but I got something that, you know, I've been using as a service for people that are just getting into the wave game or want to maintain a certain low wave length. And cool, look, when it comes to that, I'm going to go ahead and leave this dark enough. I didn't want to shock Josiah. My man was already shocked enough. You didn't see how he was just feeling his head. Uh, that's enough of trauma for a young man. We, we are working on this ball tape. I don't know if you missed it, but I did go for a kind of like mid, low mid taper. I went ahead and did give him a C cup. And by the end of this service, I thought to myself, I should have gone with a high taper, but it's cool because it was a taper that if he had wanted to, he could have brought the wave pattern a little bit closer to the taper line. Sadly, you know, there, there was a point where I thought that Josiah was going to do these great things but he didn't and and you know let's not focus too much on the fact that you gave up on waves but uh, then again you know you can always come back and if you want Josiah to come back to the wave game even though he never really started go ahead and hit that like button because maybe just maybe if Josiah so happens to see this he might just change his mind and, and try this again if you want Josiah to try it again make sure you let him know in the comment section too Josiah you should have joined the wave game but it's okay let's just focus on how we prepared for the wave game that could have been and so now we are in the back taper we're working on this back taper we are using the number two close because i went with a number two open to lower the whole head and you know might as well kind of meet in the middle with this two all the way closed this back taper was a little bit higher than what i went on the sides but i did it because i mean why not so when you create that section of the blade all the way open, you create it, obviously, blade all the way open. And after that, you have two options. You could just go ahead and close the blade and fade up or or you can go midway and then fade down. Cool. When the tapers are done, we're going to go ahead and focus on the front hairline. As you can see, his hairline is a little bit different than, uh, well, it's more like mine. You know, this waste of finesse. And we're going to actually cover a little bit of that in this video, Josiah. But don't worry, we're going to get to that in a second. The first finesse is this one. We're going to lay the hair down. I wonder at this moment what was going through Josiah's head. I'm pretty sure this was the first time he went to a barber shop to get a haircut and the barber went ahead and put some setting lotion on him to lay the hair down to later come back with a do-rag and then after that a wave cap and this part right here was for sure a waste of time because there's no reason for you to tie a do-rag up if you put a wave cap in the barber shop for a service to lay the hair down with a hooded dryer even though I didn't show the hooded dryer now this do-rag is super tight because I tried chose to tie it up after the fact that I tightened the freaking wave cap much more because I twisted it when you twist it you know you add a little bit more tension but even more so to the freaking forehead and now Josiah is going through it he's hurting a little bit but he's not gonna admit it because he's going he's manning up and after I went ahead and used the hooded dryer I went ahead and took the do-rag off to see the end result I usually have it in the dryer for like about 10 minutes or so depending on whatever type of hooded dryer you're using because not all hooded dryers are created equal I actually want to get a different hooded dryer soon one that hangs from the wall that's mounted to the wall i think it's super necessary i think it's also necessary to realize that i'm using a freaking old school outliner that's corded guys who is using a corded outliner
designer these days i don't know if you are let me know on the comment section and also let me know do you think they work better than the new ones because i've heard that the new ones are basura like straight basura and if you don't know what basura is go ahead and hit google translate and come back and let me know what you learned but look this taper is looking different because it's being framed and it's being framed by these old school skeleton outliners. You see this? This is old school stuff right here. This is stuff that I was using in barber school. So shout out to all the barber school students out there and shout out to Josiah for using his Snapchat. But let's not focus on the fact that Josiah has a Snapchat. Let's focus on the fact that months later, Josiah came back. I remember looking at my phone that day and seeing Josiah's name and thinking, Yo, my man Josiah is going to be dipping. And then I saw him. Mm -mm -mm. No ways. Mm -mm -mm. Gave up. Too much. Going back to the curls. All right, so let's accept the fact that Josiah didn't come back with waves. Let's accept the fact that he didn't want to do it. It was too much. He wanted to just be a kid. He didn't want to worry about all the hours of brushing, all the freaking times he would have to keep his hair covered, and all the maintenance that just comes with having waves. Josiah, I get you, bro. And it's cool, and we have to work with what we had, boys and girls. That's fine. Josiah wanted a little bit of pressure on the corners, by the way. So we went ahead and added a little bit of darkness to that area. Now notice that, you know, I pretty much kept the same principles on this cut as I did on the previous cut. Sadly, I wasn't able to capture the whole cut, but I did want to show the before and after on this cut, guys. I did hold back on fibers. I don't know why. I think I didn't have any on me that day, and that's why you always got to be prepared. So boom, we have covered two separate cuts on Josiah. Are those the only ones? No, we're about to cover the third one. Now, the third one is going to be able to make up for the fact that I didn't show anything on the second one. Let's get started. All right, so we brought out the pink comb and I'm using the Y2 section before I bring out the number three guard to kind of clear the ground a little bit. And I'm clearing the ground with the highest guard that I'm gonna use on this hair. Well, I think the highest was a four, but I wanted to try the three first for some reason. I don't know, because then I came back with a four. And so you should have just gone with the four fonts, but it's okay. Sometimes you make some, some of these, you know, uh, I wouldn't call them a mistake, just miscalculations. All right, so after I cover that, we're gonna go with the dime sized ball section. And you know, I've talked about this. Shout out to Nata. Nata went ahead and showed me this. And after I go ahead and do those sections, uh, I went ahead and created this ball taper section in the back. I didn't go too hot, but not too low. And after all that, we go ahead and grab our clipper to, you know, create these sections. And I created the first section with the blade all the way open. And I come back with the number one and a half guard and kind of meet it in the middle. Again, I'm not always doing things in order, guys. As long as I don't pass that point, that highest point, which was that four, then to a three, uh, I know I pretty much have control of this fade. Okay, now we are back to the no blade blade and i'm curving it guys i'm not just going straight up i'm kind of creating like a like a rainbow okay we are creating a rainbow with this fade a rainbow effect to crew to to later be able to c cup it now when you c cup it and it's dark like this that c cup is going to be prominent you're going to be able to create a very sharp dark line and that's why i created the dime size ball section and you know uh, I don't know if you noticed, I went ahead and used a little bit of hairspray. And after you do that, you're able to get a much more crispier lineup and you have a contrast from the ash that, you know, hairspray creates. And you look at that, you know, that's pretty sharp. That's pretty sharp, I must say. Let's, let's just keep going with the same process on the other side. And this was a pretty busy day in the shop. I don't know if you noticed, you know, there's a lot of people in the waiting area, not too many. Most of the people that are waiting are usually families that know each other. And you know, everything's cool in the shop. I like the environment we have is safe you know nobody's uh would knock on wood knock on wood nobody's gotten sick so i've been happy with with what we've been able to do in the shop and besides that we're continuing this fade with the number one all the way open i'm curving it and you know once in a while you need to remind yourself you don't always have to be going through your system the same way you know there's times that you create these ball sections right and you know when you create these ball sections you sometimes go straight for the shaver and you don't always have to use the shaver right away sometimes that can make your fade situation just a little bit more difficult because you're hard line if you're not paying attention it's much more difficult to take out if you're taking it all the way up in my opinion i could be wrong and maybe you know something i don't now this area is pretty 
funny to me uh not funny but it's more so you know something i'm taking a little bit more serious in life guys you know when it comes to tapers there's some of us out there that don't take this step right here this is a serious step this step will let you know or will let your clients know how much you appreciate them because when you're doing these type of tapers and there's a lot of length on top sometimes that little area behind the ear is forgotten you know sometimes people don't put too much detail into that area and I've, i'm guilty of that all right and the reason i'm pointing that area out is because you want to lower that area just a little bit more than what you think so you could come back with a very sharp line i'm going to talk you know we're going to be able to cover that in a second but just keep that in mind while we keep doing this back taper i know we're on this back taper and while we're on this back taper notice that you know he's young enough still to where that muscle area that you see in the middle kind of gets in the way of how you go about this taper oh quick tip if you want to do a little bit of detailing when it comes to the shape of a haircut like this make sure you bring out the comb to do a little clipper of a comb check this out three two one so i'm going ahead and just i'm not digging too deep into the haircut to create the shape i know that you know he wants it to he doesn't want this haircut to be a flat top right and it also wouldn't hurt to do that for the front hairline because you know it, it, we're not exposing too much of the areas that are low in the density but you do want this lineup to be sharp and then when you get that overhang josiah is not going to flex it the same you know you want josiah to flex a sharp lineup too oh and i must say we're going to hold back on the gun on this one do have to say sorry to Josiah because you know the last time he came through I wasn't able to cut his hair and he had to go to somebody else in the shop Josiah I'm sorry bro no matter of fact on the next cut I got you for free bro hey 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 Josiah I got you on the next one bro my bad bro that was me you know you know what happened